Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put this cross member on here that we made. Um, so it goes like this. It sits in there like that. So I've got to put the bolts. Okay, we're going to put the cross member on on our uh, engine cradle for our 1952 PD4103 Silverside GM motor coach. Greyhound bus. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna put the uh, cross member in that we made. Because we're putting a uh, V730 Allison transmission in there. So we had to modify the engine cradle. The engine was moved away from the fan, which the fan will be right here, or the radiator is going to be right here. So the engine's moved back four inches approximately. And uh, so the, that uh, brace that we're putting on right now, the one we made, we powder coated it. We powder coated this whole system, this whole engine cradle and everything. So the brace we made will connect to the stabilizing bar brace on the engine right here. So we're going to get this thing started pretty soon. So I'll show you, maybe, if I can find it real quick. This is a uh, extension that Leon made. right there for the fan because the whole engine back so anyway that is what we're doing right now there's the fan I made these things, brackets for the cross mover that we made for that stabilizer. Leon had it all rigged up, but he didn't like it. If you want to see how that was done, just look at some past videos. We had this uh, sandblasted and powder coated cradle. This is the work we did on our welding that we did. Or Mike did actually. Came out pretty nice. I think. We're pretty strong. Strong like bull. What I'm gonna do. What are you looking for? I'm looking for. Alright, we're fixing it with the long bros. And hopefully, this is our all made up, manufactured from scratch. And I just got to get everything lined up, try to get, and put these in there pretty loose so I can finagle them around. And try to get these bolt holes in there. Kind of crooked and all this crap because I made them myself. And I'm not a machine, not a machinist. Perfect machine, no way. So 
We'll see. Don't know. We'll find out. This video is all the drilling and measuring and everything. If you want to see it, and if you don't want to see it, I don't care. No, <laughs> I do care. I care a lot. these videos it sure helps us out if you would like and subscribe It'll make us feel better anyway whether you like it or not something right. Just have to get a wrench on this side. On this one. What's that? The stabilizer used to go on this one and then we duplicated it on this so that stabilizer bar will slide in front of this and rest on the top of this so we made this this one fabricated it up and then this was the original and I just duplicated this one and you can watch a video that took a lot of time take these all up see if I get a wrench on this stuff Look 
better now. Nah, yeah, maybe not. Mistakes like that, I'm not tightening the bolt. Now these are all those grade eight bolts. I think they're eights. I got all these, didn't I? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think so. 
all these. So there's five on that one, six on that one. It's weird that that. Well, like I said, I could put a no. drill bit in that, but I don't. I don't. Know. Let's just be leave it like that. We'll see what what's his face thinks about it, Joe. I think you'll like it. So this is all powder coated. This was power coated. I pulled it across the shelf over there, and there was some gravel or something on the shelf, and it scratched this. Now we gotta lift that engine up. You clean off the pan, bottom of the uh, for the pan. Yeah of the engine block where the oil pan went in. Yeah, so we'll, lay, we'll raise that up and clean the uh, off the oil pan, or off the engine, I'll show you. And remember, we built this thing too. We're gonna get all this rubber stuff off there. You tell, do you remember, tell them to remember about making this uh, engine block dolly? Cradle dolly. Greater Dolly. Greater Dolly. That was a pain in the butt. Look up those videos. Alright. That's good for right now for this. Hey everybody, this is Mike. Uh, I'm going to lift the engine up. Then I'm going to clean up around the uh, bottom of the engine block. <coughs> it's got. Uh, some stuff on the oil, uh, not stuff on the oil. It had some silicone, so I'm just going to raise it up enough to get under there, clean it up. That's a heavy son of a gun. Ugh. It's clear of the blocks. I'm going to leave the blocks there. Probably that's all I'm going to lift it. I'm going to get up under there and show you that it needs to be cleaned up. It's filthy. It's got all that black silicone under there. See all that stuff? I should get a light shine up under there. I got a lot of scraping to do. That's going to be a pain in the ass. That stuff went up in there. I don't think it's a good idea to have that silicone going in that oil pan, trying to recirculate in it. I'm just taking one little piece off at a time. Look up in there. You looked up in there, didn't you? I can feel it. Here, hold this for a second. I want to get a light up in there. I want to look up at the crank. There's our new crank and everything. Got all this black stuff. Anyway, I'm going to be scraping all that off of there. I don't think you need to watch that. I wish I didn't have to watch it and do it. There's plenty of oil on that up there. You hear me? I guess he's gone.
There's the oil stick. Alright, well, I guess I get to work on this shit. So there's plenty of oil in there. It's not rusted at all. Okay. Okay. We got lifted the engine up a little bit with this engine crane, or I forget what you call them. And Mike's under there. We got blocked up in a couple places, four places. security wise so don't bitch at us and what he's doing is he's gonna scrape off this stuff right here silicone that's black silicone stuff that Leon put on there and we didn't like it for some reason he Decided to do it that way. Rubber, rubber silicone. And when I put that on that with gas, it dissolved it. So I imagine this would do it with oil too. Diesel? <laughs> oil? Yeah, we just didn't like it. So we got a, a real gasket. Uh. It's going to take forever. What else are you doing? Look at it sitting up there on that edge too, inside. Yeah. Trying to destroy our engine with this shit. We had a cork gasket, and I don't know what the hell happened to that. Look at something inside there. Yeah, I see it. Gonna have to get a rag. I'll wipe this all down. Make sure it's not up in there. See, there's little drops of oil all over that crank. That's good. Yeah. It's still hanging in there. After almost eight years. Oh, it is eight years since we rebuilt it. Yeah, see? It won't take you that long. Anyway, I'm not, we're not going to film all that. We'll just show you. So we jacked it up higher. Put some blocks under it. Just the way it is. I wonder if I heated that up with that gun. We're going to put the... Engine on the cradle. Of course we'll put the pan on. Then we'll put the engine on the cradle. Then we'll put the radiator in the... Radiator. This is where the radiator goes. Right here. So we'll just hook it up and then uh, one side hooks to the one side hooks to the cradle and then one side hooks to the bus, which the bus would be over there, but we don't have it, so we'll just set it up there. So that's what we're gonna do. And get this thing ready to start at some point. Don't say anything about how crazy it looks. It's pretty secure on this. It ain't going anywhere. It would take a lot of failing to fall. I know, it looks crazy. That's good for now.
Okay, I've been scraping on this for a while. And I'm getting it pretty clean. They had a ton of stuff right there. And where it was on the oil stick, it went up. It was up inside the cavity there. So I'm glad we're doing this, cleaning it off. Crank looks pretty good, it's not rusted anywhere. So it's got good oil on the hole inside of the engine block. There's a couple spots that had a little bit of rust right there. Might be some leakage behind this oil cooler. Anyway, looks like it might be a little rusted up in there. I don't think that'll hurt anything. It's got rust right here. So I'm going to get the rest of that off of there. <coughs> Maybe we can get this thing done. God, I hope so. Mom keeps asking about wanting to take it a little trip. Anyway, we got Joe coming over. He helped uh, Scott Crosby do some things on the governor, I believe. He rebuilt it for him or something. Anyway, I'm going to continue on with this. Okay, I finished cleaning the bottom off here. All I got to do is now is just wipe it up a little bit. And, uh,. I got that light on that side, so I'm going to move to the other side. Let's see here. All right, that looks pretty clean. Then I'll clean it off better. Oops. So when Joe gets over here, we'll. Uh, his final approval on how clean it is. There's some little bit of stuff hanging down there. So, yeah, see, that stuff come right off. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, that shows you I cleaned it off.